Yolanda, good morning. Yolanda, turn on the lights. We have to get started. Huh? Why is your sleeping mask still on? <laughs> Yo, do you need coffee? We gotta get going. Okay, but first, cake. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. This is How to Cake It. I'm Yolanda, and today I'm making my breakfast mega cake. Everything you could want at breakfast in one cake. Let's get started. a blueberry buttermilk muffin cake. I basically just turned my favorite muffin recipe into a cake. And I've baked it in three eight inch round pans. You can check out this recipe in a separate video. Just click the link in the description below. I highly suggest you try it. This is kind of the equivalent of a giant muffin top. Can we start a website and just sell these on their own? I would eat that. I will eat you that. You will eat that. <laughs> Here you go, Jess. Now I'm gonna cut off just the bottom layer of caramelization, just a thin, thin slice. I'm just repeating this process with my other two cakes. <laughs> Life of a cake decorator. I want Sir Mix-a-Lot to meet Sir Squeeze-a-Lot. Oh. Baby's got snacks. Good one. I know. What? I know. I tried to work cake in there, but that didn't. That was a stretch, right? To get your own simple syrup bottle, aka Sir Squeeze a lot, head to howtocakeit.com. They're available there, and they're very handy. I have some freshly. I was about to say freshly cut strawberries. Freshly picked strawberries. I picked them in the same field that I picked Walter out of. <laughs> That's a magical field. That field. <laughs> and I'm just gonna chop them up and add them to two cups of my Italian meringue buttercream. I want this buttercream to be a bit pinker, so I'm just gonna cut off the outer part of the strawberry and chop it really, really fine. As you can see, I've chopped it down to sort of like a thick paste almost. This just gives it a bit more of a tinge of red plus added strawberry flavor. I'm ready to assemble this mega breakfast cake. I've got my buttermilk blueberry muffin cake. I've got waffles that I made in my heart-shaped waffle maker. Check out my recipe. It's on howtocakeit.com in the link below. I have got crumble, blueberries, sliced strawberries, my strawberry buttercream, melted butter, and of course, maple syrup. I'm assembling the cake on a stand because it will be really hard to move afterward. I just wanna glue down these crumble morsels. You can see how I made this at howtocakeit.com. So now you just put more buttercream on top. Now it's time for waffles. But first, I've gotta butter my waffles. You can also butter them right away while they're still hot, but you want your waffles to be cool before you put them in the cake. And then, we're gonna top it off with maple syrup. Waffles also need some fresh fruit. I'm gonna repeat this process one more time and continue stacking breakfast foods. Now, for the top of this cake. I have one more breakfast food to add. This cake needs freshly baked cinnamon rolls for the top. What do you think? Oh yeah, that's about to happen. I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way that I like to make cinnamon rolls. You take some butter at room temperature so it's nice and soft, and you add brown sugar to it. The full details for this are at howtocakeit.com, and then you just stir these two lovely ingredients. Together. You want to mix it together really well so it forms a paste. Then you just take a tablespoon and drop a tablespoon of this mixture into the bottom of all 12 cavities of a muffin tin. Cavities? Now just press this paste, just spread it around a little to make sure you cover the bottom of each cavity. And what I have here is just a store-bought pre-rolled sheet of puff pastry. Take some melted butter and brush it all over the surface. Now that you've spread on a layer of butter, you're gonna take some brown sugar and some cinnamon and mix them together. Now sprinkle half of this mixture onto your puff pastry and you wanna leave about at least a half an inch at the top 
without any sugar on it. And now, using the parchment paper to help you roll up this pastry, you knew I'd use a ruler. Just cut off the end here where it's uneven, and then cut them about an inch thick or an inch and a half. I'm gonna do an inch and a quarter. That's what I'm gonna do. Pick up your little rolls and just place them spiral side up into each one of the muffin cavities. I need another word for cavity. The muffin area, the designated <laughs> muffin area. You're gonna repeat this process once more with your second sheet of puff pastry, fill up your muffin tin and bake these babies at 400 degrees for about 35 minutes. You will know because they will be golden and they make a smell that would wake you up in the morning. Are you ready to cake it to the minute? Head over to my Facebook page, like the page, and look for this picture, this one right here, and leave your comment and guess how long it took me to make this cake in actual time. The person with the right answer will get a shout out in next week's YouTube video, so make sure to tune in. I might be calling your name. Don't put the video links, it's longer. That's the hint. The answer will be revealed in a time-lapse video on my Facebook posted on Thursday, so you can find out if you were right or not. Hit it, Jocelyn! <laughs> Kick it to the limit! Okay. No, minute, Yolanda. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One more time. Kick it! to the minute. Let's top this cake with some cinnamon buns. I have them right here already baked, but first we're gonna top this crown waffle with some cream cheese frosting. You can find my recipe for cream cheese frosting at howtocakeit.com. I actually thinned it out a touch with some whipping cream, so it's more like a glaze. Cake it to, to the limit. limit. Okay, they've had enough. <laughs> I put some of my cream cheese frosting into a piping bag. I'm gonna drizzle. I think I need more cinnamon buns. I love pecans on my cinnamon buns, so I'm going to, I say throw, but you know I really don't mean that here. So I'm going to strategically throw some pecans for crunch and flavor. Finally time for breakfast. Good thing, I've been working all morning. I'm so happy I'm wearing pajama pants. I can't talk to them, Jocelyn. I can't tell them how good it is. <laughs> it's really delicious. Yes, you, you do the interpretation. The sweet. The mm. crunchy, mm. the bre the breakfast mm. flavor, the fruit, the healthy waffles, fruit. waffles. The wa okay, the waffles. If your parents don't make you this cake over March break as a surprise breakfast on a Saturday morning, I want to know. Leave a comment. I won't stand for it. And in fact, you're at home. Why don't you make it for your parents? Don't forget, if you like my T-shirt, head to howtocakeit.com. It's limited edition. And join my Facebook quiz. Cake it to the minute. Jocelyn, kick it to the minute. I feel like we were out of tune that time. We are. That's okay. We were out of Keep tune. Going. I was Keep out going. of tune every time. <laughs> Guys, going back to bed. Where's my bed? Yolanda! <laughs> what happened? Oh, sorry.